Natasha. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be reviewing Math Sprint, the mental math game for ages seven and up. And it is two to eight players and takes about 30 minutes. And it is by Byron's Games. So I'm going to review this game for you. I have been playing this game with my third grader and my fifth grader. And we have absolutely loved it. So let me tell you a little bit about this game. Basically, it's a mental math game. So it helps you work on your addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division facts. And so this game has been perfect for me and the third and the fifth grader to do together because they are both working on solidifying their multiplication and division facts. My little one tends to be on my team just because she wants to be um, a part of the game even though she doesn't know multiplication yet. So this game is really awesome. So it comes with this gorgeous board that looks like a track and then it has these little guys that are runners. And the directions actually give you an introduction to each of the runners. And so there's eight different runners. They are Crystal Reaction, Bootstrap, Bootstrap Byron, Carrot McArrow, Mike Bobberman, Groove and Gabby, Maya Marcher, Jeffrey Labutter and Mary Matharina and they're scientists and ballerinas and soccer players and gymnasts and all kinds of things there. And basically what you do is you have cards and you're going to decide if you want to play with the multiplication and division or you want to play with the addition and subtraction. So multiplication and division um, are in the same set. Okay, so here's an example of what a card looks like. So every card pretty much has two problems on it. It also has the answers on it. You get to choose which question you want to ask. And so here's how it basically works. One person chooses a card off the deck and reads the question to the other players. Now, if there's more than three players, you can actually to choose two players to race against each other or if there's only three players total and you're just reading it to two players, obviously they're racing each other. And so basically, whoever gets the answer correct first gets to move their runner two spots. And sometimes your runner will land on a spot that says to do a certain exercise. So if you land on that spot, your, you know, if your runner lands on that spot, you have to actually get up and do that exercise. So the kids love that because it gets them up and doing exercise and so it's perfect. I think the math sprint tying in with the exercise is perfect. After that person reads the card and the other two answer, the next person will pick up a card, choose one of the questions to ask the other players, they will answer, and it will just keep moving around like that. So everyone gets a turn to be the coach and ask the questions. Sometimes you will get a coach tip card. If you are the coach, the one who's choosing the card, and you get a coach tip, you will actually read this tip to the other players. It has some math strategy that's actually a tip for you to learn. So the more you play this game, the more you read the coach tips, the more you will learn. There are also some challenge cards in here, and these are word problems. So the challenge cards are word problems. And there are also times when you've done something good, so to speak, and you get to move up. And like this one, your new running shoes are giving you a boost. Go forward to spaces. There are also some blank cards if you wanted to make up your own problems. But basically, there are the addition and subtraction cards, which I will show you here. And they're color coded. So you know the addition and subtraction cards are green. And so here's subtraction. And they have the symbol on them too. So it's really easy to know. And then of course, here's addition. So they're color coded. And then the um, multiplication and division are blue. And then the wild cards are this like pinkish purplish color. And the challenge cards are these yellow colors. So they're all color coded. So it's very easy to know what is what. The instruction booklet looks like this. You meet the players. And on the back, 
you have all of the instructions, but the instructions are very easy. Just like I said, you take turns taking a card. The other awesome thing is that you can actually start this game at multiple different spots on the board, depending on how long you want the game to be. Now, the girls and I will often play this game over lunch, and when we do that, we play the shortest game. So we're just playing a quick little game to practice our math facts. Now, if we play in the evening, we'll do a longer game. So it really just depends on when we're playing it, if we do the short one or the long one. Of course, um, they love playing, so they always wanna do the long one. But if it's like that's something over lunch or we just have you know, maybe 15 minutes before we're going to leave or something like that, we'll play the short one. And if we play kind of in the evening, then we do the long, the long one. But there's multiple spots where you can start the game. Also, another thing you can do if you do have older and younger players or more advanced players, you can have the more advanced players do the long version, start on the the longer line, and you can have the younger kids or the you know less advanced kids start at the shorter version so they have kind of a better chance. So if you, you have multiple kids you know playing it like that, you can do that. And then basically by doing this, it's really reinforcing their mental math facts and they're getting faster at it because they want to be the first one to answer it correctly because they want to move their runner up. And so the more they practice, the better they will get. So this is a wonderful hands-on way to practice your mental math facts and I highly recommend it. I think it is a fabulous game. We absolutely love it. We have played it almost every day, not quite every day, but almost every day. And um, just as a little mental math fact practice. And so I absolutely love it, highly recommend it. I'm going to put a link down below where you can check out Byron's Games to check out Math Sprint. I am also going to put a link below to the Homeschool Review Crew blog post where other moms like me have been playing this game with their kids and they will review it as well. So thank you so much for watching and have a blessed day.